Hey everybody, this is Anjanette from AJ's Personal Touch. How are you doing today? Welcome in to anybody new and welcome back to Almond's Burrs. I know I did that a little bit backwards, <laughs> but at least I remembered how to do it the right way. Hope you guys are all having a great and fantastic and wonderful day. I wanted to come on because, um, first of all, I'm going to be taping probably three things today. I can't believe my brain numbers. Three things today. So, if you th see things over the next couple of days because I'm going to schedule them out and I'm wearing the same thing, it's because I'm going to be taping a couple things down so that they all get done and they all get put up and they, you know. First of all, this is an explanation about, um, I don't see what this is. Okay, I'll have to listen to it later. This video is an ex explanation about my cows. There are some new people, I think, who saw me on my live the other day who um, probably think that my cows are lives and they are not lives. And I normally explain it a lot better. And I thought that I had on um, my life. So I wanted to come on and explain it better for all of you who are interested in doing them. Because I have had people say they're interested and then they haven't shown up to actually do them. So I'm thinking that maybe um, this misconnection about what they are is what may be the matter. Because I know um, there was somebody who said that she wanted to join in yesterday and then... Um, she told me just a couple minutes ago, somebody I've been chatting with today, she told me, oh, I'm sorry I missed your live yesterday. And I'm like, and I had explained it to her before that, but evidently she didn't understand what I was saying. And I explained it again, and I'm, I'm hoping she understands now. When we do our cows, which I will show you. Because I, I normally come on either before or after to either remind you. If I come on before to remind you that we're starting the cow and, you know, at what time, which is 5 o'clock um, Eastern Standard Time, is when we start. And um, this cow that we're doing right now, let me get the pattern right here. Um, the pattern, I'm not going to put it on this video. I'm not going to post any extra links and stuff because I want this just to be a really easy video for me to put up today and get it up pretty quickly. This is the pattern that we're doing right now. We're on my third cow for this year. Oops, that's just part of it. That's the head and the body. That's not the whole thing. Here we go. You can pick a cat or a dog. It's a very easy amigurumi pattern, which is why I picked it. Because I know that I have, I know quite a few people who have told me, I really want to learn amigurumi, but it just looks so hard. So that's why I picked this cow to do. And um, I wanted to bring it to you guys. This is all I have so far from yesterday's cow. Now, I did end up realizing I was doing something wrong, so I had to go back and um, frog a couple of rows, but I'm about back to where I was. If I have time, which I doubt that I will, because tomorrow is the next day that we're doing the cow, I may go another run or two rows. But I'm at the same area that the other two who were doing the cow with me are at. Now, I do know um, that one of them will not be there tomorrow so as far as i know it's just going to be two of us unless the other people who said they wanted to come and join in come tomorrow so i wanted you to see we're not that far 
we didn't get that much done on Tuesday because again, I'm helping people who have never done amigurumi before. So if you want to learn how to do amigurumi, come on in. It is not too late. And the biggest thing you need to know is when we I set up the time for the lives on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, is that it is not a live. It is not a live on YouTube. You cannot go to YouTube to find it. It is in my group on Facebook. You have to join AJ's Personal Touch, the group. There is an AJ's Personal Touch that is a page. I don't do much on that page anymore. If I remember right, the last thing that's posted on there was probably last month or the month before. Although sometimes things automatically get posted there when I put them on Instagram, but I try to stop that. Um, that setting that I had it on, I tried to um, take it off, but I don't know if it worked or not. So um, the last thing may have been posted, but I don't think that it was. I had looked and didn't see it, if I remember right. I've been doing so many things, I can't remember exactly what I did an hour ago, honestly, except for I know I was shopping with my husband because <laughs> I don't get to do it very often. Sorry, I, I, I do this a lot, I know, and, and, this, and it, it, it's just me, it's my fidgeting. Um, I, I, I really think that I am a partial ADHD and have never been um, diagnosed with it. But it may be my medications, too. Sometimes they make me feel like I'm crazy. So, anyway, I just wanted to explain that part. If you join AJ's Personal Touch, my group, which you can find the links below, because those links are put on every video that I do. Um, we can put default stuff up that will show up on our videos. The only videos they don't automatically go on to are our lives. All those, some of the people that I know are saying they're starting to show up on the lives. I don't know. I didn't check my last one because I know that normally they're not on there. And I know for sure they're not on my shorts. So Otherwise, you will always have linked below my email, my um, Facebook group, my Facebook group that is a separate group that has my stitch markers in it, um, and then my affiliate links for all the places that I have an affiliate link. I have one for furls. Um, I have one for We Crochet. I have one. I can't remember if I was accepted for Annie's or not. I may have one with Annie's. Um, also, besides referral links, not referral links, those are affiliate links. I just told you our affiliate links. So I have my affiliate links with Furls and We Crochet and maybe Annie's and I can't remember who else. I think there's somebody else. I started having one with um, Amazon, but that one never, I didn't get enough within the time allotment. So I'm no longer with those. Um, I also have referral links, and I'm not sure, I can't remember who they're all from. Um, find it right here, but the book outlet, I know I have one on the book outlet, um, and that's just a regular basic referral that anybody who is part of it 
can have if somebody joins. If you're going to join Book Outlet, make sure you join it with somebody's referral. Even if it's not mine, somebody's because you both, I believe, get money off. Um, and of course, you you know, if you can get money off, that's a good My referrals aren't like that. Um, gosh, I'm trying to remember out, remember who all I have referrals for down below, but I, I can't remember. They're down there. And then I also have a, um, a Kofi account. And, um, if you want to give to my Kofi account, most of the money, actually, I've never gotten any money yet on my Kofi account. But if I get money on my Kofi account, it's supposed to go to and will go to the cat toys that I make for the Meow Mission that I donate um, for materials that I need for them because I, I'm getting low on materials and I can't afford to keep buying them so I either really really need this I guess this is going to be more than just explaining about the cows and how it works because I'm going to go through you know like I said what was down below but I'm going to tell you what I really need from cat toys I really really need if you make something with cotton whether it's I love this cotton whether it is sugar and cream whether it is friends cotton from Hobie any cotton even if it's a large size cotton I will find a use for it if you make something and then you have scraps but there's not enough to make something else that you want to make and all you're going to do is put it to the side or some people who just throw it away. If you could send me an email and ask me for my address and send me your cotton scraps, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, if you happen to have acrylic scraps that are big enough, I will take those too, because there are some things that are made with acrylic. I'm getting low on all of my materials and I need to buy some of the inserts that you put inside um, of a cat toy or a baby toy that makes it, it makes, it has the bell, the ringing sound inside of it. The, that's the bell that the cats love so much. I have cellophane that I got from the Dollar Tree to make that crinkly noise. Um, but I'm running low, especially since I decided to do the 100 day project. I'm running low on materials. So if anybody can find it in their heart to donate, I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. There are some people who are actually making toys who are going to send them to me. But if you would like to donate materials, again, I would greatly appreciate it. And um, they will definitely get used. I will not let them go to waste. So with that, I'm just going to go through really quick again because I'm at 14 minutes and I don't want it to go much longer. If you want to do a crochet along with me, please make sure to join my group and then we meet virtually so that we're crocheting together and if you have a problem, I can help you. Because if I'm on the live just crocheting, the crochet along that doesn't help you it may help you to see you know a little bit of what I'm doing but if you need help being one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one -on -one or whatever it is because if there's more people there than just me and 
if more people than me know how to do it and, and others may know a better way, you can hear what I do and you can hear what somebody else does. So that is why I do it that way. I want people to be able to interact and get to know each other and for us to learn from each other. So that I'm going to get going. Remember you matter. Every last one of you. Do not let anybody tell you otherwise. And please, please, please remember you're gorgeous and you're beautiful. And don't let anybody ever tell you differently and take that away from you. I would really love to see some of you in the cow with us if you want to do the amigurumi one or in the next one. If we have time to do one in June, it will be another market bag. It, it is such a gorgeous market bag. If not, July is going to be Christmas in July. And right now, if you go to my community page, there is a post on there where you can write down what you would like to do for Christmas in July and then I will do a poll and there will be you know the winner of the one thing so that I have enough time to go and find the free um, pattern that we will use so love you guys I will see you soon very soon in my next video that's going to be as soon as I get some more to drink my tea so see you soon love you Later.